the health of a reef and how these oysters are going to recover and respond to restoration efforts is really going to be affected by the animals that are living in that area, what fishes and crabs and things like that. So knowing what's out there is going to be important to make sure restoration is managed efficiently. Oyster reefs offer amazing recreational and commercial fishing opportunities. A lot of people that are down here like to go fish and they like to fish for reds and black drum and sheep's head and things like that. Those live on oyster reefs. So understanding who's where will definitely help with both fishing, but also with restoring our critically endangered habitat mostly because of water outflow from Lake Okeechobee. People that are using coastal environments, they realize that the freshwater is not doing good things for the estuary. And it's good that people think that way because it means that they want to continue to clean it up. In general, the reefs here have less abundance than other reefs that I've looked at, but I see a lot of the same species. You see a lot of little sheep's head, which is a fish that like to hang out around structure, so we tend to catch them better than other larger fish. And they have a fairly wide range of salinity that they can tolerate. So when we have these huge freshwater releases, it drops the salinity in the St. Lucie estuary to zero or two. That's fresh water, and these are marine organisms. They need salt water to survive. And this was the first <laughs> summer of sampling, so there's a big learning curve there, learning which sites have flow that's too high so the shell gets washed out, or the tides go way lower than you anticipated so that the trays are exposed for an extended period of time. You lose the communities. They're going to leave those trays again to escape those conditions. So unfortunately, it can be very frustrating to lose all of those samples, but for the most part, I like being outside. I like seeing the different animals. I think it's very cool. Um, we found a huge stone crab in one tray, and they're my favorite. So I just love seeing the animals that I really enjoy. It's a lot of a lot of fun. People that have lived here for a really long time have seen the changes. They want to know what can be done to fix it. It gives us an idea of what the diversity in the lagoon is and also can help with restoration efforts to make sure we're keeping that balance of fish and oysters and other things that live there.